OTAs, from all the other stuff? You know, it always does, especially, you know, first day of training camp. Everyone's really excited to be back, um, excited to get the season started. Um, obviously, it all began back in OTAs and mini camp, but um, it's a little different animal when you get to training camp. You know, things ramp up a little bit. Um, it's, it's an exciting time of year to be back to work and get all the guys on the field and get going. It was great. Yeah, I mean, we had a little time off, but we got together starting last week, you know, just to get things going. So it wasn't totally new uh, when we got out here, but, um, you know, it was great work, uh, good start, and we, we have something to build on. We, we laid, we're laying the foundation right now, but we're going to keep building each day. Last week when you got together with the receivers, as you said, was that the first time that you guys had got back together and worked, or did you guys get together for any guy? Yeah, it was, it was kind of the first time since minicamp. Um, you know, guys kind of got away for a little bit, you know, did some things on their own or went and trained, you know, wherever they do train and, um, you know, got some things done there. But then we all tried to convene a little early before we got out here uh, for training camp. Yeah, do you feel that this team is going to give you an opportunity to be more of yourself and more of a, uh, an adapter out there, a guy who can adjust and make whatever calls you see to be a lead yeah. and react guy? Yeah, that may be the case. You know, we're still trying to, you know, mold what our offense is going to be and what each guy's role within it is going to be. You know, find out what guys do well, you know, what things work, what things we'd like to do against certain looks and certain defenses. But uh, we have a great test to go against every day in our defense, especially up front in the secondary. So um, we're really challenged every day on both sides of the football. But, you know, it's an exciting chance to get going here with this football team and this organization and, and, and climb that mountain. With what this team did in the offseason, you know, with this, your signing and all these other veterans that they brought in, and does that excite you as, as a player when you see an organization willing to do that? Absolutely. You know, when you see a team um, with the rich tradition, historically, um, that the Oakland Raiders have, um, it, it's exciting to come and be a part of that and to see all the moves and all the uh, things that the organization is doing to, to get better and improve uh, from last year and the year before. And so. Um, it's definitely an exciting time as a veteran to make this transition over here to this team and this football team to, to, to help get back to that uh, Raider way and, and be a part of Raider Nation. So it's, it's exciting to see what they've done. What's impressed you most about Derek Carr since he's come in? You know, just the way he's embraced, you know, learning, the learning process. You know, obviously coming from a, a college program where he, he did a lot of good things, you know, um, understanding where you are as a rookie and how much you have to grow and learn how much the game is yeah. different at this level. And as a rookie, you just got to come in and be all ears, uh, soak in as much knowledge and learn from veterans. So, you know, he's willing to do that and he's putting in the work. Um, so, you know, he's, as a, as a young player, he's taking the right steps here early on um, to set himself up. You said the other day that uh, he's going to be like basically latched to you the whole time, asking you questions constantly and hopefully he doesn't start to annoy you. <laughs> Is that, that, yeah, that really been the case? Well, it, it's never going to be annoying because the questions that, that he asks help me too because it helps me think and be able to spit back answers, you know, and talk talk football. The more you can talk football, especially at this time of year, the better you are as a player, whether it's with the person in your position group, someone else on offense, or talking to the defensive players, talk to Seawood or talk to Tarver, the defensive coordinator. The more you can just talk and communicate, the better we're going to be as a football team.